Konnichiwa! Welcome back! In this video, we will learn new Japanese grammar from the Mina no Nihongo textbook, Lesson 9. Here, you will be introduced to the particle ga, and we will also learn how to express likes and dislikes, and so on. If you're ready, hajimemasho! Here are the grammar points that we would learn in this lesson. The first one is the particle ga. Ga is another particle that is used to indicate or mark the topic of the sentence or to indicate the receiver or the object of the verb. First, we will learn the pattern in ga arimas. Arimas means to have, to have en. For example, I have a car. Our noun is a car. Kuruma, followed by the particle ga. And then the verb Arimas to have. Kuruma ga arimas. I have something to do. Something to do is yoji, followed by the particle ga, and then the verb have. Arimas. Yoji ga arimas. And to ask the question, do you have blank? In this example, do you have something to do? Again, something to do is yoji. Yoji ga arimas. And then the question marker ka. Yoji ga arimas ka? To answer the question, yes, I have. Hai arimas. So we repeat the verb. Hai arimas. No, I don't. Or no, I don't have it. Iye. The negative form of arimas is arimasen. Iye arimasen. Another verb that uses particle ga is wakarimas, meaning to understand something. In ga, wakarimas. Wakarimas could mean to understand, to know, or to comprehend something. For example, I understand Japanese. Or, I know Japanese. Japanese is Nihongo, followed by the particle ga, and then the verb to understand or understand. Wakarimas. Nihongo ga wakarimas. I know kanji. Kanji is as is. Kanji ga wakarimas. Kanji ga wakarimas. I know kanji. To ask the question, do you understand something? In this example, do you understand Japanese? Or do you know Japanese? We say, Nihongo ga wakarimas ka? Nihongo ga wakarimas ka? To answer the question, yes, I understand. Or yes, I know. Hai, wakarimas. Or, no, I don't. No, I don't understand. Iye, wakarimasen. Next is expressing likes, or how to express that you like something. Ga is also used to mark the objects that you like or dislike. En ga, skides. I like en. For example, he likes sports. First is our topic, which is he. Karewa, and then our noun, which is sports. Sports, followed by the particle ga, followed by like or likes. Ski desu. Karewa, sports ga ski desu. Ski is a na adjective. Another example, she likes dancing. First is the subject, which is she. Kanojo wa. Dancing or dance is dance followed by the particle ga and then the adjective likes. Ski desu. Kanojo wa dance ga ski desu. And to ask the question, do you like or does dare dare likes blank? In this example, do you like sports, Mr. Tanaka? 
So we are asking Mr. Tanaka if he likes sports. Tanaka san. Sports ga ski desu ka? Tanaka san, sports ga ski desu ka? Or sports ga ski desu ka? You can answer by yes, I like it, which is hai. Ski desu. If not, no, I don't like it. Iie, ski ja arimasen. So we replace this with ja arimasen. The opposite of ski is kirai, don't like or I hate it. The pattern is en ga kirai desu. Kirai is also a na adjective. For example, I don't like that movie. That movie is sono eiga, followed by particle ga. Sono eiga ga, don't like. Kirai desu. Sono eiga ga, kirai desu. I don't like vegetables. Vegetables is yasai, followed by the particle ga. Don't like. Ski ja arimasen. You can also use the negative form of ski, which is adding ja arimasen. Yusai ga ski ja arimasen. Using ski ja arimasen is less intense than kirai. Kirai is more of like hate. So I hate it. So if you're like, you eat it, but you're not really a fan of it, you can say, yasai ga ski ja arimasen. I don't like vegetables. To make this into a question, as usual, you just add ka at the end. For example, do you hate vegetables? Yasai ga kirai desu ka? Yasai ga kirai desu ka? Or yasai ga suki ja arimasen ka? Yes, I hate it. Hai, kirai desu. Or the opposite is no, I like it. I actually like vegetables. Iie, suki desu. Or, iye, kirai ja arimasen. Remember that kirai is a na adjective. So, the negative form of kirai is kirai ja arimasen. Next is how to express that be good at or to be good at or to be skillful is jōzu en ga jōzu desu. Good at something. For example, he is good at sports. First, our subject is he. Kare wa, followed by our noun, sports, and then the particle ga, and then good. Jōzu desu. Kare wa sports ga jōzu desu. She is good at dancing. First, our subject is kanojo wa. Kanojo wa. Dancing is dance followed by particle ga. And then, to be good or good at, jōzu desu. Kanojo wa dance ga jōzu desu. Now, to ask the question, for example, is he good at sports? Again, our subject is kare wa. Then, followed by the noun, sports ga jōzu, and then our question marker, desu ka? Kare wa sports ga jōzu desu ka? Yes, he is good. Hai, jōzu desu. No, he isn't. Iie, jōzu ja arimasen. So the negative form of jōzu is jōzu ja arimasen. Next is the opposite of to be good at, which is to be bad at or to be unskillful at something. The word for that is heta. En ga heta desu. Not good or poor at something. Heta is more intense than jōzu ja arimasen. For example, I'm bad at cooking. Cooking is ryori, followed by the particle ga. And then, to be bad at, heta. Ryori ga heta desu. Or you can simply say, ryori ga 
上手じゃありません。Another example, I'm not good at singing. Singing or song is 歌歌が not good at. So we use the less intense form of 下手 which is 上手じゃありません。歌が上手じゃありません。I'm not good at singing. Of course, you can add ka at the end to change this into a question, but we don't really ask someone, are you bad at something? But instead, we ask them, are you good at something? Next is how to ask what kind of something or what specific something do you like? Using donna. Our N is a category such as food, sports, and so on. So we ask, what specific thing in the category do you like? In lesson 8, we use donna to describe a noun using adjectives. Now, we are using donna to ask specific thing from a certain category. For example, What sports or what sport do you like? Donna sports. So, what sports? Ga ski deska. Donna sports ga ski deska. What specific sport do you like? For example, I like baseball. Ya kyu ga ski desu. Another example, what food do you like? So, it could be Italian food or Japanese food or Western food and so on. So, we say, Donna food is tabemono. Donna tabemono ga ski desu ka? Donna tabemono ga ski desu ka? For example, I like Italian food. Italian ryori or Italia ryori ga ski desu. Next are the adverbs such as yoku, daitai, skoshi, amari, and zenzen. These adverbs are used to describe the level or degree of likeness or understanding and so on. It comes before the verb. First is yoku. I understand very well. Very well is yoku. Yoku wakarimasu. So it's like saying I understand 100%. Lower than that is I understand the general idea. Not 100%, but most of it. Most of it, or roughly, is daitai. Daitai wakarimas. I understand about 70 to 80 percent. Next is skoshi, a little. Skoshi wakarimas. Skoshi wakarimas. About 30 to 20 percent. These are all used in the positive form of the verb, understand. However, if you're going to use the negative form of the verb, We use amari and zenzen. For example, I don't understand it very well. I, I don't understand very well. We use amari. Amari. And then the negative of wakarimas is wakarimasen. Amari wakarimasen. It's almost the same level as skoshi wakarimas. However, it is in the negative form. あまりわかりません。And to say, I don't understand it at all. Like zero. I don't understand at all. We say, 全然 and then the negative of わかりますわかりません。全然わかりません。I don't understand at all. Here are some examples. I understand English very well. 英語がよくわかります。Or, I understand English quite well. So, less than very well. So, quite well, fairly or roughly. 
英語が大体わかります。And lower than that is a little.I understand English a little. 英語が少しわかります。Now using the negative, I don't understand English so well. 英語があまりわかりません。Or, I don't understand English at all. 英語が全然わかりません。Next are adverbs to describe the amount of something that you have. For example, I have a lot. A lot is たくさん。Have is あります。たくさんあります。I have a lot or have a lot. Less than that is I have a little. So we learn from the previous slide the word skoshi. So here we are also going to use skoshi for a little. Skoshi arimas. Skoshi arimas. I have a little. Have a little. Next are the adverbs for the negative form of arimas, which is arimasen. For example, I don't have much. Using amari, we say amari. And the negative form of arimas is arimasen. Amari arimasen. I don't have much. To say I don't have any or I don't have anything at all is using zenzen followed by arimasen. 全然ありません。I don't have any. Here are some examples. I have a lot of money. Money is お金。お金がたくさんあります。Or to say, I have some money or I have little money. お金が少しあります。Now, to use it with the negative form of あります。I don't have much money. お金があまりありません。Or, I don't have any money. お金が全然ありません。全然 and 少し can also be used with adjectives. For example, it's a bit cold. 少し寒いです。It's not cold at all. 全然寒くないです。Next is giving reasons. S1 or sentence 1, that is why. S2 or sentence 2. S1 から S2. Reason から outcome. Or you can reverse it. S2 or sentence 2 because S1. Outcome because as one. For example, I don't have much time. That's why I didn't study. We have the reason and then the outcome. So we say S1, which is I don't have much time. Jikan ga amari arimasen. That's why kara. I didn't study. 勉強しませんでした。時間があまりありませんから、勉強しませんでした。We can reverse this by saying the outcome first and then the reason next. I didn't study because I don't have much time. 勉強しませんでした。時間があまりありませんから、勉強しませんでした。時間があまりありませんから。And lastly, how to ask the question why or the interrogative why, which is どうしてどうして For example, why didn't you study? どうして didn't you study? 勉強しませんでした。And then the question marker, ta, どうして勉強しませんでしたか Because I don't have time. I don't have time is, 時間が
Arimasen, and then kara. So to answer the question doshite, we need to put kara at the end of our reason. Jikan ga arimasen kara. Because I don't have time. You can also use doshite to ask question about what the other person said. So if someone says, I'll go home early today, which is Kyo hayaku kairimas kyo today, hayaku early kairimas to go home. Kyo hayaku kairimas. So you can ask the reason why, which is doshite desu ka? Or why is that? Doshite hayaku kairimas ka? Or in short, doshite desu ka? So the other person might say, because I have something to do. Something to do is yoji. Yoji ga arimasu. And then kara. Yoji ga arimasu kara. Now let's review our lesson for today. First, we learned to say I have or to ask the question do you have by saying en ga arimasu. Example, kuruma ga arimasu. Okane ga arimasu. Yoji ga arimasu. To ask the question, Jikan ga arimasu ka? You also learn to express, I understand, or to ask, Do you understand? En ga wakarimasu. For example, Nihongo ga wakarimasu. Ego ga wakarimasu. Kanji ga wakarimasu. To ask the question, Fransu go ga wakarimasu ka? Next is how to express likes and dislikes or to ask the question, do you like or dislike something? En ga suki kirai desu. For example, kuruma ga suki desu. I like cars. Sports ga suki desu. Benkyo ga kirai desu. And to ask the question, yasai ga kirai desu ka? We also learned how to express being good at or bad at something or asking question, are you good at or bad at something? En ga jōzu heta desu. Eigo ga jōzu desu. Sports ga jōzu desu. Dance ga heta desu. Uta ga jōzu desu ka? We also learned some new adverbs to express degree or amounts, such as yoku, daitai, skoshi, amari, zenzen, taksam. And lastly, we learn new interrogative word, which is why, and also giving reason. For example, okane ga arimasen kara kaimasen. Nihongo ga wakarimasen kara benkyo shimasu. And asking question, doshite desu ka? Now time for our conversation practice. Sports ga suki desu ka? Donna sports ga suki desu ka? Ryori ga jōzu desu ka? Okane ga takusan arimasu ka? Doshite nihongo o benkyo shimasu ka? Kyo no lesson ga wakarimasu ka? Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. If you have any questions or clarifications regarding this lesson, please comment down below. And subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the future lessons. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Mata ne!